Hello and welcome to this video on Canvas to Kahoot. In this video, I'm going to talk about a program that I wrote to convert a Canvas quiz into a Kahoot quiz that you can give to your students. Now, several years ago, I wrote a program, BB to Kahoot, and it's been out there for a while and I've been maintaining it. And if you want to get a copy of that, you can contact me for a copy of that if you have Blackboard. But we just recently switched to Canvas. And so now I've written Canvas to Kahoot so I can continue to use this program. I'm going to go over how the program works. I'm going to go over how to set up a quiz in it. And then if you want to get a copy of it, at the end, I'm going to give you the information to get a copy. The copy is totally free. So you're not going to watch this video all the way through and then have me try to sell you something. That's not going to happen. I'm The program's free. All you got to do is contact me and I'll give you a copy of the program. Please keep in mind that this program is or may be when you get it in beta form. So if you have issues with it, you can help me to get the bugs out of it. So let's go ahead and talk about this program. So the first thing uh, we want to talk about is the program itself. If you request a copy of the program, what you're going to do is you're going to contact me and I am going to give you a link to a box account portable version of the program. And what that means is, is that the program is portable, so it doesn't require any installation to run. So that way, if you have a situation at your uh, university where you have security on your machine, you should be able to still run this without having admin uh, privileges. So what's going to happen is you're going to contact me. I'll send you a link. When you get the link, you're going to download the Canvas to Kahoot portable program. Uh, right now we are on version 1.0, but it may be a different version when you download it. But I will send you a link to the current version. So once you get that, you're going to click on the link. It's going to take you to Box. When you get into Box, it's going to allow you to download that. And so you're just going to download Canvas to Kahoot portable, whatever the newest version is. Download that to your machine and it's going to go into your download directory. Once you've got it downloaded, then what you're going to do is you're going to go somewhere on your machine. Usually people put it on their desktop and you're going to create a folder. So I'm going to go to new folder here and I'm going to call that Canvas to Kahoot. And then we're going to go to our download folder where we just downloaded that. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go into downloads and I'm going to find the Canvas to Kahoot that I just downloaded. And I'm going to open it and then I'm going to copy and paste all the files from the zip file and I'm going to paste them into this folder that I made. So I'm just going to go here after copying them and then paste and there you go. We're going to have the program right there on our computer to run. Now in order to run the program, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the folder that you created and you're going to run Canvas to Kahoot EXE. Run that. It's going to tell you that actually if you're sure that you were on a run it, I didn't put any viruses or anything in there. Uh, so you can be so, uh, assured of that. So you can run it and it's going to look something like this when you run it. And so this is the actual program that you're going to run. Uh, it gives you some options here. It lets you select the test file that you exported out of Canvas. Uh, it will allow you to change where it goes. It defaults to go onto your desktop. Uh, and when it goes onto your desktop, it's going to create two files. It's going to create kahoot.xlsx and it's going to create kahootbad.xlss. Now kahoot uh, xlsx are, will be questions that are readily available to load into kahoot right away. They're all, they all meet the requirements of kahoot. Uh, if there's any issues with the uh, questions and it'll go into the bad file and then you can go in them and in there and fix them and then you can uh, upload them after you fix them. I'll, I'll kind of go over that here in a minute. I'll show you both files, uh, but you can change where that goes if you click here. Um, it also gives you a little information about it in the version and then it gives you the option to set your time limit, whatever you want the time limit on the Kahoot to be. And then it also lets you say whether you want multiple choice or true or false or both. Uh, currently, this only works with multiple choice and true or false because those are the only questions that work good in Kahoot. Uh, but if you just want multiple choices out of a quiz, just uh, uncheck true or false. If you just want true or false, just uncheck multiple choice. If you want them both, just check them both. If there's other questions in there, if there's essay questions or something in the Kahoot quiz file, my program will just ignore those. It will only pull down multiple choice and true or false depending on what you pick. So that's how the program looks when you install it and run it. If for some reason you try to run it and you're getting errors or it doesn't look like this, then you can contact me and we'll try to figure out what's going on on your machine, why it's not running. So the next thing we have need is we need a test file 
from Canvas. Now, I will tell you that Canvas is kind of weird. Uh, I had some issues when I started to use some text files that had like, um, where I was pulling questions from like a group of questions. So uh, I'm going to show you how to set up your quiz files so that they work good with this uh, program. And if you have quizzes that are pulling from like a pool, then I'll show you how to get around that as well. So let's go ahead and go into a uh, browser here and we're going to go into um, my canvas and I'm going to select one of my classes. So we'll just go into this class here. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a quiz. And I highly recommend that you just make a quiz for this. Even if you have a quiz, I'd say make a quiz for this so that it doesn't affect your other quiz in any way. So I'm going to go uh, into this class here and I am going to go to quizzes. And I'm going to add a quiz. And you want to use classic quizzes for this. So select classic quizzes. You're only going to be able to do multiple choice and true or false anyway, so you don't need the extra quiz types that are in new quizzes. Um, then you're going to hit submit. You're going to give your quiz a name, and in this case I'm going to call it Kahoot 2 because I already have a Kahoot 1 I was practicing with. Uh, once you have a name in there, you can go ahead and uh, do questions, and then you're going to want to do find questions. Uh, you can do a new question if you want to just type one out. Um, or you want to do find questions. You don't want to do a question group. The way that Canvas exports quizzes when you do a question group, it's kind of weird. It doesn't export the actual question. So I'm not sure how you would import that into anything else. But we want to definitely do one that actually has questions in it and not a question group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find questions. Once you do find questions, you're going to see a bunch of questions in here from your other quizzes. You can just pull questions from your other quizzes. You can pull questions from quiz banks, you can pull questions from a bunch of different places, but you actually want all of these questions to be in this quiz and not in a group uh, if possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to find some questions. Let's say we're going to get chapter, let's get chapter 7. So we're going to get chapter 7 file handling here and you can see there's a bunch of questions in here. I think there are 41 questions in here. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to select all, but you could select individual questions if you like from here, but I'm just going to select them all. So I'm just going to say select all. It's going to select all these questions. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here and I'm going to say add questions. Now after I add these questions, if I wanted to add more questions, I could. Kahoot can handle a bunch of questions. So once all these questions are in here, then I could scroll all the way down here. I could hit, click find questions. I could pick another chapter. Like uh, I could pick uh, chapter six arrays. I could select all the questions from there as well, or what one, whatever ones I want, add those questions. And I can do that until I have all the questions into Canvas that I want. But make sure you put the questions in individually and not in a group, because if you put them in a group, then Canvas to Kahoot is not going to work properly. Once you have all the questions the way you want them, I have 82 questions in there, then you can go ahead and save your quiz. You don't need to publish it. You don't need to do anything like that. Just go ahead and save it so that you have it. Uh, you don't need to set up any points totals because the Kahoot doesn't have points totals anyway. So this is really all you need to do. So once you've got your quiz set up, or if you're going to use a quiz that you've already made, then you're going to scroll down in Canvas until you get to settings. And then you're going to go to export course content. And then when you're in export course content, you're going to pick quiz. And then uh, I think it defaults to all the quizzes being selected. So I'm just going to unselect them all. And then I'm going to scroll through here and find my quiz that I just made. And I called that Kahoot 2. So there we go. Kahoot 2. And then we're going to create an export. And then it's going to take a few seconds. And when it's done, it's going to give you the export of the quiz. So then, so then I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, click new export and download that quiz to my computer. And there it is, so it just downloaded the quiz. So now that I have something to uh, run through my program, I'm gonna go back to my program. I'm going to select the file that I just downloaded, so I'm gonna click here. We're gonna go into downloads, and we're gonna pick our export file. We're gonna open that. And then we're going to select whether we want multiple choice, true or false, or both. I'm gonna go ahead and do both. We can change our time limit if we want. I can change that to 90 seconds uh, per question if I want, and then I'm going to hit convert. 
After we convert, it's going to tell you how many good questions you have and how many bad questions you have. So I have 47 good questions. These good questions can be immediately uploaded into Kahoot. And then I have 23 bad questions that need to be fixed before they can be uploaded. And so we're done with the program. We can go ahead and exit it. And now we can look at our exports. So we've got the Kahoot bad and we've got the Kahoot Excel file. So let's go ahead and look at the Kahoot Excel first, the good one. So if we open this, we're going to see that we have a bunch of questions in here. I'm going to open this up a little bit so you can see the questions and a bunch and a bunch of answers. You can see these are all true and false. So you can see that answer one and two are true and false. And there is no answer three and four because uh, that's all there is for true and false. So there's all our questions. There's our answers. And then if you scroll over here a little bit, you can see the time limit and you can see the correct answer. And so this, all of this Kahoot needs. You don't need to modify this Excel file at all. You can dump this directly into Kahoot without any uh, problems. It's all ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and just get out of here. I just wanted you to see what it looked like inside. And then we're going to go ahead and upload into Kahoot. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go into my Kahoot and I'm going to create a new test and hit create. And once I'm in here, it's a little tricky, but we need to go to import spreadsheet. So we click on that. Then it asks us to select a file. So I'm going to select a file and I'm already on my desktop. So I'm just going to go to my Kahoot file that I created. So I want to do the Kahoot, not the Kahoot bad. So I'm going to do the Kahoot and I'm going to hit upload. And it's going to tell me that 47 questions have been imported. And then you have to hit add questions. And now those questions have been added. You can see I have a quiz with 48 questions in it. My screen's kind of small because of the recording, so yours will be a little bigger. But you can see that here's a question right here. You can merge more than two files, true or false, and then it's true, and true is the answer. Um, here's one. Uh, here's what uh, blank is the more general term for an entity that organizes files. And here we have a uh, hierarchy path structure and directory and directory is the correct answer. And so then once we're done, we just hit done. Once we hit done, it's going to ask us for a title. I'm just going to call this um, canvas to Kahoot. Um, just say test. Hit continue. And my Kahoot is ready to be played. And you can see that um, that Kahoot will now be uh, in here with 47 questions. And if I want to play it, I just hit uh, play to go. So that's, that's it. That's how you get it from Canvas into Kahoot. Now, I want to go over one last thing before we're done, and then I'll give you the information on how to get this. So uh, there is a Kahoot bad Excel file that you can uh, look at. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to tell you there's actually max for stuff. So max 95 characters on questions. So the, all of these that are read means that these questions are too long and uh, they have to be shortened if you want to put them in Kahoot. Um, you see how this answer is read? Well, answers have, I think it's a max 60, yeah, 60 characters. So that answer is too long. So you can see by the red what is wrong and you can go in and repair those. And once you've repaired all these, you can upload this program up into Kahoot as well. Now, keep in mind, if you're going to fix it in here, you, once you fix it, the red will go away. So you'll know that you've fixed it. So you can just start. You can actually go into a question like this and just delete a bunch of uh, letters until it's not too long anymore. This one might be way too long. So let's see. Enter. But once I get it down to where it should be, then you can see that that one went white. And so now it shows you that that one's okay and can be put into Kahoot. So once you, so once you're in here and you're wanting to try to fix these problems with these questions, you can just fix them. And as they turn white, you'll know they're fixed. And then you can upload this file into Kahoot as well. And that's it. So, so just so, so you guys know, uh, if you want to get this, I want to make sure I know who you are and so I can help you if you have issues with it and I can support you for it. So in order to get a copy of this, what you have to do is you have to go to Lincoln Land Community College, uh, their website in Springfield, Illinois. Uh, you're going to want to look for Thomas Seidner. I am a professor in the computer science department. I teach programming. And you're going to want to look for me. You're going to want to email me. And you're going to want to ask me for a copy of this. I will respond to you with a link 
to the software and I will also help you if you have any issues with this when you're trying to run it. Like I said, I wrote this primarily for myself, but I want anybody who wants to use it to have access to it. So it's free. Uh, just contact me and I'll make sure you get a copy. And if you have any questions, I'll be glad to help you. And so hopefully this is uh, useful to everybody. And, uh, you know, leave a comment down below if you get a copy and you really like it and uh, let other people know about it as well. So that's it. And I'll see you guys in another video.